We're going to have one more round of questions. This is going to be the final round before uh, we get to the closing statements. And uh, let's see, we're going to leave one off. exceeded its constitutionally enumerated powers for many years, frequently infringing on those rights reserved to the states respectively or the people. Specifically, as the chief executive of the state of New Hampshire, how will you contribute to reversing the transfer of power from our people and the state to the federal government and restore our law sovereignty? Well, I'll just, one of my mentors, my dad, and I, just always talked to my dad and so many of my values came from my family. It took me to the state house when I was a little boy. There's a picture on my website, www.johnstephen.com. It was with my great mentor, Mel Thompson. He was one of our greatest governors. And Mel Thompson used to say, I remember in the back of his office, he had a sign that said, low taxes are the result of low spending. And Mel Thompson was a guy that stood up for sovereignty. He stood up for the rights of New Hampshire. He knew what the New Hampshire Constitution said. And I've also taught taught constitutional law, and I've written six books on search and seizure and all the constitutional provisions I've looked at, Fourth Amendment, and I know what the New Hampshire Constitution says. And we need a governor like Mel Thompson that stands upright for the New Hampshire Constitution, that knows what the Tenth Amendment stands for in terms of sovereignty, and to make sure that those mandates that we talk about, those federal mandates, and the encroachment that you mentioned doesn't happen any longer. And if it does, you have a loud voice. When Governor Lynch said at the State of the State address that he will not allow unfunded mandates, Tim, you remember, unfunded mandates, no unfunded mandates on Obamacare, won't allow it. And if it passed, it will not pass with the unfunded mandates. And it passed, he was silent. And he knows that we're gonna have this $1.2 billion downshift of costs. You need to leave. That's an issue of sovereignty. That's an issue of the 10th Amendment. That's an issue of using the New Hampshire Constitution in a valid way to make sure we represent the founding fathers of this great state, what they meant and what they intended at the time they drafted that great document. Thank you, John. Jack? Happen to have the state constitution with me. I'm going to read directly from it, Article 7, State Sovereignty. The people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free, sovereign, and independent state, and do and forever hereafter shall exercise and enjoy every power, jurisdiction, and right pertaining thereto, which is not or may not hereafter be by them expressly delegated to the United States of America in Congress Assembly. That says it all. That's it. We have got to, as a state, begin pushing back against the federal government. That means some tough decisions have to be made. That means we have to deny, we have to say no to federal funds. And we have to live within our means. I know we can do that. We are a small state. We have an advantage, a big advantage over large states. It is time in our history and in our country to do just that, say no to the federal government, their money, the strings are attached to it to take care of ourselves. Thank you, Jack Karen. Well, Jack said it pretty well. Um, the, the one thing that I have in, in a way of looking at this is that we have a lot of bullies going around telling us what we can and cannot do. Look at what's happened to Jan Brewer in Arizona. Look, look, look at what's happened to Bobby Jindal in Louisiana. You know, I do not understand why Bobby Jindal has to go and say mother may I to the federal government when his, his people are in jeopardy because of an oil spill. There is no reason that that should go on. It is the, the role of the governor to make sure that the, the borders of the state are protected, that the people are protected, that the people are put first in this state. And so it would be just like the bully on the playground. You have to draw the line in the sand and say, no more, we're not playing this game. I am protecting the people of the, of the state of New Hampshire. I am standing by you. And I would be on the phone or on the, the airwaves in every possible way, making sure that you understand what it is that we're doing and 
why we're doing it, so that you can also participate.